global temperature is going to increase over the next decades. Uh, whatever the origin of greenhouse gas concentrations, whether induced by human activities, in particular fossil fuel combustion, whether induced by natural phenomena, carbon concentrations are going to increase and global temperature is going to increase over the next uh, years and probably by the end of the century will reach about two degrees. I'm saying at least two degrees because without ambitious mitigation actions by developed and developing countries, the increase in temperature may be even larger. This implies that damages from climate change will occur, are unavoidable, and adaptation is necessary. Even with strong mitigation action, adaptation is going to be necessary to control damages, to control impacts of climate change. In the analysis that we have been carrying out for this uh, study, adaptation is shown to play a crucial and important role in helping society to tackling and dealing with climate change. It is important to recognize that adaptation can do much more than mitigation in controlling climate change, in particular when these important climate change will occur in the second half of the century. What we did was to start from the information provided by climate scientists and assess the impact, the economic value of the impacts of climate change. Given this assessment, we have been able to compute how markets react to climate change. Markets react for several reasons, because uh, climate change will have an impact in different sectors, agriculture, tourism, energy, and so on and so forth. And these impacts induce sectoral adjustments, induce changes in relative prices, changes in terms of trade and international trade, capital flows, and so on and so forth. There are two proposals that I would like to underline. The first one is related to the cost of adaptation. Adaptation is likely to be very costly, in particular in developing countries. According to our estimates, by 2050, the cost of adaptation will be 78 USD billion. In 2065, it will be 500 USD billion. And in 2100, it will be about 2 USD trillions. And in particular, it will be in developing countries. There are not, in these countries, there are not the, the resources to deal with adaptation, in particular with investments in infrastructure and in other measures that will enable these countries to deal with climate change. Therefore, a cooperation, international cooperation program to support adaptation in developing countries is necessary. A second proposal concerns technologies. Technologies are often analyzed in terms of uh, mitigation and mitigation efforts, but technological development is necessary also to, to uh, develop adaptation measures. And uh, again, developing countries don't have the capacity, the technological developments, the investment in R&Ds that enable these countries to deal with uh, adaptation and the development of adaptation technologies. Again, cooperation, international R&D cooperation, international technological cooperation is required if we want developing countries to be able to face the climate change problem with the proper measures and with uh, the lowest possible economic costs. At the same time, these investments will help these countries in their own development process because it's difficult to disentangle measures designed for adaptations and measures designed for development. And this is another crucial issue because uh, cooperation for adaptation is also cooperation for development. And this is going to be beneficial to all countries in the world.